obviously we've got a lot of behavioural students um, permanently excluded from mainstream schools, but we've also got emotion emotionally vulnerable who haven't been at school for a long time um, and are trying to get back into education. They wouldn't have had the opportunity to explore lots of different materials. They come in at very different different levels with different experiences. I just think it's absolutely brilliant. I think it's very innovative and there's so many options that they can have a different artist that offers so many different things. It broadened my horizons as to what is possible. I get asked, what kind of artist would you like next? I'm like, I don't know. If I tell you, I'm narrowing it to the field of what I think is possible. And quite often I'll, you know, the first session I'll be quite nervous. I'll think, oh, is this gonna work? And then actually I'm always amazed that, you know, they work so well, no matter what they're doing. So the young people have been really positive of the creative, uh, being creative. I've really seen this sort of level of focus that will wash over them um, while they're drawing and stitching. Through engaging with the students during the immersive sessions as well as during interviews, we're hearing from the students about how much they love the work they're producing, how it gives them pride. And then from the teachers and the head teachers, we're also hearing about how that experience changes how students feel about themselves within the academic context. If you look in some of their books, you know, they're it's not much pride in their work sometimes, it's scribbled, it's not neat, but the pride that they've taken in their arts work and the quality of all the different things that they've produced has been really impressive. I think a lot of the students that we get when we give them the arts opportunities or when we take them out on the cultural trips, they can't believe that they're allowed to do those sorts of things. They've all been really successful. I think it's really important to build on their sort of cultural capital and their social capital as well as their formal education, getting them out of their estate and out of the, their local area where all their friends and family live. It's just amazing and it makes them bigger and better and more exciting people. You know, some of these students haven't seen any real art. They see things on the internet and they think that's it. That's how it exists, you know. It's all this big and you can't touch it. It doesn't have anything more to it than what you can see. So that was, it was really good for them to be able to kind of just see real art, experience it. It's really good for them. It's beyond the realms of what they think is possible. Why would people want to see their work? Well, because actually it's really nice and it's varied and it's, it's part of you and you're interesting. Just the fact that their work was transported from our school to another city and put into another space, somebody's invested that time in them and their work, just made them feel really special and valued. They were really excited, really excited. I don't think their work ever got up in a wall in a classroom in mainstream and now it's out in this public exhibition and it was it was a really big deal for them. I mean they're desperate for it to come back to school so they can have it displayed in school. It's a great like sense of achievement of it's all worth it.